Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x cubed plus y cubed plus 3xy is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So, let's start. This x cubed plus y cubed can be factorized as x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared plus this 3 times xy is equal to 1. Next, x plus y times we combine these two terms x squared and plus y squared. So, this will become x squared plus y squared. Now, to make this uh, x squared plus y squared a perfect square, we add and subtract 2xy. We add 2xy and we subtract 2xy minus this xy plus 3 times xy is equal to 1. Next, x plus y times this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, 2xy will become x plus y whole squared. And this uh, negative 2xy minus 1xy will become negative 3 times xy plus this 3 times xy is equal to 1. Now, we suppose that uh, let x plus y is equal to a. So, this will become a times a squared minus 3 x y plus 3 x y is equal to 1. Now, this a times a squared will become a cubed and a times negative 3 x y will become negative 3 times a x y plus this 3 x y. Move this one to the left hand side, this will become negative 1 is equal to 0. Now, we combine these two terms a cubed and negative 1. So, this will become a cubed minus 1 minus 3 times a x y plus 3 x y is equal to 0. Now, this one is same as 1 cubed. So, by using this uh, algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared. This uh, a cubed minus uh, 1 cubed will become a minus 1 times a squared plus a plus 1 squared is 1. And from these two terms, the negative 3axy plus 3xy, we can factor out negative 3xy in bracket left a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this expression a minus 1 is common. So, we factor out this a minus 1 and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left this uh, a squared plus a plus 1 and this negative 3 x y. In bracket left uh, a squared plus uh, a plus 1 minus 3 times x y is equal to 0. And from here either this expression a minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression a squared plus a plus 1 minus 3x y is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of a is equal to 1. Now, recall that we have supposed, we have supposed that uh, x plus y is equal to a. We have supposed that uh, x plus y is equal to a. So, from this equation, we get the first value of x plus y is equal to 1. 
this is the first solution of this equation. Now, in this equation, we replace this a and this a with this value x plus y. So, this will become x plus y whole squared plus x plus y plus 1 minus 3xy is equal to 0. We expand this x plus y whole squared. This will become x squared plus y squared plus 2 x y plus this x plus y plus 1 minus 3 x y is equal to 0. Next x squared plus y squared this 2 x y minus 3 x y will become negative x y plus this x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So, this will become 2 x squared plus 2 y squared minus 2 x y plus 2 times x plus 2 times y plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this 2x uh, squared can be written as uh, x squared plus uh, x squared. And this 2y uh, squared can be written as uh, plus uh, y squared plus y squared. And this negative 2xy, negative 2xy plus uh, this 2x plus 2y. And this uh, 2 can be written as uh, plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we combine these three terms uh, x squared plus the uh, y squared minus 2 x y. This will become x squared plus uh, y squared minus 2 x y plus we combine these three terms uh, x squared plus 2 x and plus 1. So, this will become x squared plus uh, 2 times x plus 1 plus we combine these three terms uh, y squared plus uh, 2y plus 1. So, this will become y squared plus uh, 2 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared minus 2xy will become x minus y whole squared plus this uh, x squared plus uh, 2x plus 1 will become x plus 1 whole squared plus this uh, y squared plus uh, 2y plus 1 will become y plus 1 whole squared is equal to 0. Now, square of a number is always positive. So, this uh, x minus y whole squared is uh, greater than or equal to 0 this x plus 1 whole squared is greater than or equal to 0 and this y plus 1 whole squared is greater than or equal to 0. And sum of 3 positive terms can only be 0 if each term is equal to 0. So, we can write this x minus y whole squared is equal to 0 and we can write this uh, x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 0 and we can write this uh, y plus 1 whole squared is equal to 0. From this equation we get x minus y is equal to 0. And from this equation we get uh, x plus 1 is equal to 0 and this equation y plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, x is equal to y. From this equation, x is equal to negative 1. And from this equation, y is equal to negative 1. And if we add these two equations, we get the value of x plus y is equal to negative 1 plus negative 1. So, this will become x plus y is equal to 
negative 2. And first we found the value of x plus y is equal to 1. First we found the value of x plus y 1. So, we have two solutions of this equation 1 and negative 2.